Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time, how they feel about you, what are their intentions towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Capricorn watching and not every reading here on my channel is going to resonate for you. All right, let's get right into it for Capricorn spirit. What do they need to know in regards to love for Capricorn please, spirit? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. All right, Capricorn, let's see what we have for you in love. Five of Cups reverse. Someone getting back what they've lost. Um, this could also be someone missing you a lot. You missing someone else a lot. Ooh, we got the wheel. Beautiful. I love this card. I love this, the deck, this whole deck, the artwork of it. You can't talk. <gasps> Anything else for Capricorn, please? In regards to love, what do they need to know? Ooh. The magician reversed. So something here is unable to be manifested or created. Maybe you don't have all the resources, all the tools. Maybe the timing is off. Or it could be that someone here could be trying to manipulate a situation, trying to make something happen that shouldn't be happening. Um, this could also be someone in your circle that you cannot trust. So be careful. We're going to clarify and see what this is all about. Princess of Cups. I love this card too. Look. Isn't it beautiful? I wish I could like frame these. All right. Page of Cups energy here, a message of love. Something um, is going to be expressed here. Six of Swords, someone's moving. Heading towards calmer waters, calmer situations, something more balanced. What else? The Fool, wow, a bra someone's heading towards a brand new beginning. This could be a brand new love for you, Capricorn. Because someone here, it's like they are going to express their love. And that's going to cause you to go on some sort of journey that will take you to a new beginning here. Bottom of the deck, I have the King of Cups. Wow. A lot of love here. A lot of emotion. Ooh, I think this might be a good uh, reading. But let me not get ahead of myself because I always do that. And then it burns me. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's clarify these energies for Capricorn please this is the radiant wise spirit tarot please bear with me as I try to shuffle this my hands are not big enough for Capricorn please what messages do you have for Capricorn okay let's start with this five of cups reverse why is the five of cups reverse here I feel like there's going to be, wow, a Knight of Pentacles. You could be having someone return to you here with an offer. Someone that might be missing you a lot. Um, I feel like they are not over the past. They're not over you. Um, and, it, and, you know, they definitely want to make an offer here. Interesting. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So what I see here is someone who is letting their guard down. Someone possibly is giving up on something, giving up on being so guarded possibly, or um, not wanting to be in this energy anymore of feeling regretful, remorseful. And then Eight of Pentacles reverse. This is someone that's uh, unable to put in work or refuses to put in work or effort into something. But that's very opposite energy to this Knight of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing this as is someone who probably doesn't have the finances or the resources right now to really make something happen. And so that's probably why it's going to take a while to get this offer. That's what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, look at this, bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Tell me about the wheel. Tell me about the wheel, please. Okay. 
Five of Pentacles reverse. Again, someone wanting to come back out of the cold. And then the High Priestess reverse. So this is somebody who might be, um, it might be a secret that this is how they feel, or it might take you by surprise. It's unexpected. The High Priestess reverse tends to be like a, a, a secret being revealed or someone opening up that hasn't opened up in a while. Um, yeah, wow, the sun at the bottom. Okay, get me one more for this wheel, please. What else can you tell me about the wheel? A fortune. This is all about um, a, a huge change coming in here. Divine timing as well. Five of cups, two fives, actually three so far. Someone I feel is going to speak up about the fact that they miss you. That they don't want to be struggling anymore. They don't want to have this distance between you. Yeah, look at this. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. What is happening? Okay, so let's see. What's this magician? Reverse. The lovers. Someone's not able to um, make this happen right now. Why? Tell me about the magician. Reverse, please, for Capricorn. Ace of Pentacles reversed. I really think this might be financial or someone's not able to commit uh, something long term at this time. But I really am getting financial here. Tell me about the magician. Reverse. Queen of Wands. This is somebody that gets things done, the Queen of Wands. I feel like someone here is... Um, Someone's very attracted to you. Someone's very passionate about something here. I think it has to do with a partnership. For others of you, this is a, a situation where there is a broken commitment of some sort. And it's possibly because of a queen of wands here that someone is attracted to. So for a very small number of you watching, um, I feel like the person you're interested in, or if you're in a connection with someone, um, they might want to break that commitment to go after something else. That's for a very small number of you, or the person you're interested in is breaking their commitment to come after you. But that's for, I, I'm getting that for a very small number of you. I think for the majority of you, this is just someone that doesn't have the financial resources to make things happen for themselves here. Okay, and then I have the Three of Swords reverse. Got ahead of myself there. Definitely third party energy here. And someone's dropping that burden. So if there is a third party interference, it's getting dropped here because someone cannot keep it up anymore. Again, I'm getting the sense that they're, they're emotionally feeling like they need to, to get out of this energy. Like they can't do this anymore where they miss you so much or they miss being with you or they, they feel like they're abandoned or they, you know, someone here feels very cold, like there's no warmth between you, too much distance, etc. I feel like that's a burden for them. Tell me about this page of cups. Someone's expressing how they feel to you. Yeah, look at this, Ace of Swords. They want to clear the air. They might want to apologize as well. Yeah, look at this. They might tell you about this. Three of Swords reverse, Ten of Wands reverse. They might apologize for the third party or the, or the heartbreak. They might want to heal this heartbreak between you. Wow, Eight of Cups. I really get the sense this person's leaving something for you, headed towards you, headed towards a new beginning with you is what I see here. Wow. Ten of Pentacles behind that. What a great reading. That's what I'm picking up on here. There's definitely someone opening up and being truthful with you. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Okay, we have the King of Wands reversed. That's... Some, I feel like this King of Wands is being left for this Queen of Wands. And Two of Wands reversed. So someone here um, possibly was delayed in making this decision. 
but they've made it. Um, there could also be a delay in leaving, but I don't think it's going to be a long-term delay. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. I think this King of Wands is being left in the dust. Yeah, look at this. Someone's leaving them to go after something more balanced, more stable. That's what I see here. Same cars came back out. Tell me about the Fool. This was a very quick reading, Capricorn. But it was just so direct, you know? The Fool, we got the two fives here. Five of Wands reverse, Five of Swords. I keep getting these these cards in the readings that I'm doing. I feel like there's a lot of clarity about how people have treated us, a lot of clarity where we are seeing situations for what they truly were. Five of uh, Swords tends to be a card about someone who's unfair to you, someone who wants to win at all costs, someone who fights with you, but is not fair. It's not a fair fight. Um, this is also deception. This is someone who doesn't tell you that they have all of this ammo when they come to this fight you know it's like they're trying to take advantage of the situation it's all because they want to win not because they care and with the five of wands reversed i feel like someone is leaving this drama i feel like someone here is seeing this it's like they want a new beginning out of uh, and leaving all of this behind and look, the moon is reversed at the bottom here. This is all about seeing an illusion for what it really is. Dropping the facade, you know? This is about um, something was not as it seemed and you found that out. Tell me more about this fool for Capricorn. Someone here tried to take something away from you or try to try to win you over with words with and, and it didn't work we got the six of cups here the past this is all about the past here bottom of the deck the world reverse you could be um getting closure with someone from the past wow something that ended here a betrayal a difficult ending with someone that wasn't able to commit and now there's a new beginning here again because the moon because the moon reversed because you saw something clearly there was a some sort of revelation something came to light a light bulb moment for you and it could be regarding it could be the person you're dealing with Capricorn that had this light bulb moment you know, they weren't able to commit before or or you were dealing with someone that was not able to commit. And I feel like that there was an end to that or something's something here is ending in order to have a new beginning. The Fool, this is all about taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. Tell me more about the Fool. Thank you. Nine of Cups reverse. So I feel like someone here is um, not satisfied, not content. Um, they might get their wish, but it's going to come at a cost. So you're, whoever this Five of Swords was where they tried to win, um, they thought they were winning against you, but it wasn't a true victory. Tell me more for this full energy. Got the wheel reversed. Queen of Pentacles. I think this might be you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. This is someone stable, secure, financially solid. Um, a good partner to have. Typically they're in a commitment. This could be what you want. However, with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, bad timing, bad luck, bad fortune, possibly with this person from your past, for, there was bad timing or bad fortune, bad luck with someone from the past. And you want to get closure. You want a new beginning, I feel like, a second chance with this person, or this person wants that with you. You know, and I feel like there's going to be a lot of uh, struggle, maybe fights or arguments between whatever's interfering between you. 
not between you and this person because this person is going to come at you right. I mean, look at this. We have the King of Cups, the Lovers, and the Queen of Cups after that. Like, this person is very serious about you. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign or a Gemini. doesn't have to be. But I feel like the, the fights and the struggle are not going to be with the person that wants to get back to you. It's going to be with whatever's interfering between you. And I feel like it's going to cause a delay in this coming together. Here's the Sagittarius energy and the full reverse right after that. So it's almost like there's something that's not going to be able to happen. Is this, this new beginning is not going to happen right away. Something here is not going to be able to be manifested or it's going to be blocked. And it could be finances. It could be a queen of wands or um, energy, which is somebody that's kind of in the middle, I feel. And as a reader, I'm feeling that energy that there's a queen of wands in the middle of this. You would know better than me. And I also think it's this queen of wands with this king of wands here. They're, they're not a good partnership. They're not seeing eye to eye. But we have here ace of swords. We had Ace of Cups at the bottom, we have the Lovers, we have the Fool, we have the Six of Swords, Page of Cups. I mean, this is someone that's going to be, I mean, this is love, is what I see here. Someone misses you so badly that they're going to do whatever it takes to, to get on this boat and have a new beginning. And it's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take, it's almost like it's it, they're going to have to fight their way through to get to you. And they're going to do it. Very interesting. I love this reading. I'll leave it here. Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment if this resonated with you. I love hearing from you. Thank you again to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Take care.